three years as the head of the Department of Education, Dr. Narissa Bertini Underwood says her goodbyes to her staff as she sets off for retirement. During her tenure, she was well received by people she worked with, Governor Eddie Bazacavo. Again, it was a pleasure working with her. I felt it was just so important that we work as partners in education for our kids. Uh, I felt that we've, uh, we've lost a very good public servant and someone who has been focused on the education of our children. But uh, to Nerissa, I want to wish her Godspeed, God bless her, and uh, I look forward to, to seeing her in some other capacity in serving our people. DOE Facilities and Maintenance Manager Billy Cruz worked with Dr. Underwood closely over the years during its most challenging times. Through public health inspections and school closures, he says she was always there. Dr. Under was a very uh, supportive uh, superintendent. She has supported our division 100%. Whenever we needed help, uh, she was always there to uh, give us what, what we need, our tools, what we need to ensure that uh, we do our work the way we're supposed to. Working as her deputy was Taling Titano, who now assumes the role of interim superintendent. I just want to thank um, Dr. Underwood and Arlene for, um, for the... Uh, for their contribution to the uh, to the department, and I wish them, you know, the best of luck on their future endeavors. Today is a bittersweet day for Underwood. She will miss her students, but looks forward to spending more time with her family. She is proud that her, during her term as superintendent, graduation rates increased, and 77 percent more students are staying in school. We're very uh, pleased with the um, uh, accomplishments we've uh, made. We also have updated our content standards and performance indicators. We have also um, uh, started the development of our criterion reference test that will be implemented fully next school year. So in terms of curriculum, I think we've uh, uh, made big strides. Now we're working on the facilities. Earlier this week, we reported that the two candidates vying for the superintendent position are George Washington High School teacher Salvador Avila and Governor Eddie Bazacavo education advisor Vince Leon Guerrero. One thing's for sure, whoever is selected has some big shoes to fill, thanks to Underwood. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.